First, I add some movement to the original footage and change the resolution for better performance. Then I break down footage in chunks of five seconds because usually Absinthe won't be able to process more. If there's a workaround, let me know. Then we open the temporal kit tab and drag in our first video. Chose one side, resolution 1024 x 1024, five frames per keyframe, and FPS 24, so max 250 will be enough. Remember to enable Absinthe mode and batch mode Add your target folder and change the max keyframes. In our case, it's 5 seconds of footage times 24 frames. Now hit run and Temporal Kit will create new folders. Amazing. After completion, you'll have an input folder with individual frames from the video. Now we're ready to generate our first images. Take the first frame and play with CFG scale and denoising strength. The higher the CFG, the more automatic 1111 will try to stick to the prompt, but it oftentimes gives bad results. I usually go for CFG scale of 4. The lower the denoising, the closer the result is to the original footage. I usually go between 1.5 and 2.5 for the highest fidelity. Unfortunately, it does not allow for major changes without messing up the result. Make sure to try different frames from the input folder to make sure your results are consistent. If they are not, readjust the CFG scale and denoise it. Once you're happy with the results, enable batch processing and insert your input folder as well as the output folder. When you hit Generate Automatic 1111, we'll generate one output for every frame input folder. Once that's done, you go back to the Temporal Kit tab and go to Epson Process. Paste your directory folder, not input or output, but the folder containing all of these elements, then hit Read Last Settings and double check the settings. Then click Prepare Absinthe to prepare your input and output frames for Absinthe. Once that's complete, open Absinthe and drag the Keys folder in the Keyframes input and the frames in the Video input. I am currently struggling with Absinthe not always automatically loading the crossfade parameters. If that happens, like it did here, I load the keys of another video I made with the same parameters that was working and drag it into Absinthe and then insert the correct folder path. If anyone knows why Absinthe sometimes does this, please let me know. You will see that Absinthe created a bunch of newly populated folders, which is exactly what we want. Once Absinthe ran through, click Recombine Absinthe. It can take a few minutes before Temporal Kit starts crossfading the frames after combining, so don't worry, it probably didn't crash, even if nothing happens for a while. If we did everything correctly, we'll see a crossfade file appear. All right, folks, now let's repeat the same process for the other two videos. Since I named the folders 1, 2, and 3, I only need to switch these numbers in the folder path and let it run. I am so smart. As a matter of fact, let's just say it. The smartest. Now I'll combine the three crossfades and apply some color correction and voila, the best video the earth has ever seen. You're welcome. This whole process took me 43 minutes. I hope this was helpful. Have a great weekend, folks.